Hi, Mosaic Kids. It's Missy and Tanea. And Miss Lexi, we hope you and your families are having a great week so far. We are so excited for our lesson today. But first, let's start with our Mosaic Kids Memory Challenge. So if you aren't already, go ahead and stand up and wiggle it out. Okay, our memory challenge that we are going to review today is Psalm 1611. Repeat after me. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16, colon 11. Good job. Awesome. And so we are going to do our MK Q&A. And y'all know what that is by now. MK Q&A is memorizing truths about who God is in the form of question and answer. And we really do this in other ways. And for example, if we are talking about the movie Toy Story, and I ask you, what are the names of Andy's two favorite toys? What would you say? Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Good job. Yeah. And then if I ask in the movie Cars, what does Lightning McQueen want to win? You'd say the Piston Cup. Or in Finding Nemo, if I say, who finds Nemo? His father Marlin and their friend Dory. So we are going to do something similar, except all of our questions and answers will help us learn more about God and how he is good, great, glorious, and gracious. Are you ready to get started? Awesome. Oh, but first we're going to play or sing the banana song. So just as a reminder, um, we'll play it and it'll say, bananas of the world, unite. And you put your hands up like this. And then I'll say peel banana and you're gonna peel the banana, peel the banana, and then chop banana, you chop the banana, and then mash the banana. Yeah, ma mash the banana, stir, shake, eat, and then go bananas. Okay, here we go. Oh. One, two, three. Bananas, peel, peel, bananas, peel, bananas, peel, peel, bananas, chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas, chop, bananas, chop, chop, bananas, and mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas, mash, bananas, mash, mash, bananas, and stir, bananas, stir, stir, bananas, stir, bananas, stir, stir, bananas, and shake. Bananas, shake, shake, bananas, shake, bananas, shake, shake, bananas, and eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas, eat, bananas, eat, eat, bananas, and go, bananas, go, go, bananas, go, bananas, go, go, bananas. This banana song is my favorite. <laughs> it is so fun. Okay, well now it's time for our MK Q&A for this week. And our question um, for today is what does God require in the ninth and 10 commandments? Um, and it's that ninth, we do not lie or deceive. And then 10th, that we are content not envying anyone. And so let's do that with the motions. So what, um, hold on. <laughs> What uh, do we do? What does God require in the ninth and ten commandments? Ninth, that we do not lie or deceive, and tenth, that we do not covet. And you pretend like you're grabbing. Um, and so, our verse for this MKQ and A is from James chapter two, verse eight. And I'm going to read it. And it says, if you really fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. Um, and so first we are going to remember why we are learning about the Ten Commandments. And we learned that when God rescued his people out of slavery in Egypt, he knew that they needed a new way to live and relate to him and also to one another. And so God gave them the law. Can you say the law on three? One, two, three. The law. And the law is a set of good and loving rules that God gives his children because he cares about them. Do you have good and loving rules at your house? 
Of course you do, because rules help us to love each other. So it wouldn't be fun if your siblings could take your toys or hit you whenever, right? Right, so that's why we have rules in our house. And just like we have rules in our home, God has rules and they are his law and they are good and loving because God is good and loving. And so God's law, God's good and loving rules are about love, worship, and love for our neighbor. And so what does God require in the ninth and 10 commandments? Ninth, that we do not lie or deceive. And so we know that words are really important. Words reveal what is in our hearts. And God cares not just about what we do, but why we do it. And so when we lie, we are not using words as God wants us to. And sometimes we lie because we don't want to get in trouble. And sometimes we lie to get someone else in trouble. But God knows it is best that those we talk to can trust us and lying hurts trust. When we use our words, they should be honest, they should be truthful, and they should be kind. So the next commandment, the 10th commandment, is that we are content not envying anyone. And this one is also super important. We talked about something similar last week when we talked about the eighth commandment, which is do not steal. Um, but this one's a little bit different. And so do, do other people sometimes have what you want? Yeah, it happens all the time. But God knows what is best for us. And really everything that anyone has comes from God. And when we envy or covet, we, it's not taking what we want, but we want what they have. So it's not stealing, but it's us wanting really bad what the other person has. But you know what we can do that's better than wanting what others have? We can celebrate with them with what they have. And so do you ever have something that other people want? Of course, that happens all the time. Um, but we can share and be grateful with what we have and share that with others. And everything that we have has been given to us by God. So we can celebrate when our friends or siblings or someone at the park has something that we desire. We can also choose to share with others when we have something that they don't. And so let's remember one of our four foundational truths. We want to remember that God is glorious. He satisfies his people. And God is what is best and only God can fully satisfy us. And God gives us good gifts that we can enjoy. But just like our emotions that roll up to God, our gratitude for his good gifts should roll up to God too. And so when we lie to others, we break trust. Or when we covet, we want what others have. But God wants us to love others because he made everyone. And he knows that lying or coveting won't truly satisfy us. Only he can truly satisfy us. And you know that too, that if you've ever lied or if you've ever coveted, you know that it only lasts for a few moments. Those good feelings only last for a few moments. Um, but what does last is loving and enjoying God because our hearts were made for him. So let's pray. God, thank you that you are glorious, that you satisfy your people. God, we thank you for these good and loving rules that you have for us um, so that we can love you more. God, help us um, to love you more and to um, not lie or covet. Father, we thank you that we are able to do this by the power of the Holy Spirit. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, now it's time for us to review some questions to see how well you were listening. And so after I ask the question, just go ahead and pause the video and then shout out the answer and then unpause to hear the answer. Are you ready? What is the ninth commandment? That we do not lie or deceive. What is the 10th commandment? That we are content not envying anyone. Okay, let's practice all 10 of our commandments with the hand motions. So what is the law of God stated in the Ten Commandments? One, that you shall have no other gods before me. Two, you shall not make for yourself an idol. Three, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Four, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Five, you shall honor your father and your mother. Six, you shall not murder. Seven, you shall not commit adultery. Eight, you shall not steal. Nine, you shall not give false testimony. And 10, you shall not covet. 
Good job, guys. We'll see you Sunday. Bye.